Google Chrome is the world's most popular browser, and for good reason. It's compatible with all major platforms, has a user-friendly interface, and a vast repository of extensions. Its dominant position is further solidified by Google's commitment to continuous updates and patches. This leverages the company's extensive resources to continually maintain the browser security. Central to Chrome's defense strategy is Safe Browsing, which is Google's extensive database of identified threats. It provides real-time alerts about potentially suspicious websites and has proven to be highly effective in detecting phishing attempts, outperforming many competitors in my tests. Additionally, Chrome's sandbox technology forms a barrier around each web page, preventing malicious scripts from affecting other pages or your device, thereby safeguarding your data from potential breaches. Chrome also offers DNS over HTTPS protection, an optional setting that encrypts DNS queries for enhanced privacy, protecting your online activities from ISPs, or internet service providers, governments, and cyber threats. Although Firefox is slightly better because it enables DOH by default, activating it in Chrome is straightforward, requiring just a few simple clicks. However, it's important to address Chrome's nuanced stance on user data and privacy. Unlike other leading browsers, Chrome's tracker blocking capabilities are notably limited, a direct reflection of Google's advertising-driven business model, which relies on web trackers to collect user data and therefore serve ads. By default, Chrome is configured to gather a significant amount of user data, affecting user privacy by quite a lot. Chrome supports a range of tracker blocking and ad blocking extensions, allowing for a slightly more private browsing experience. Despite its solid security measures, Chrome's approach to privacy remains a point of contention, illustrating the complex trade-off between securing the web and preserving user anonymity. However, it's still the de facto standard in web browsing, and it's a secure option, if not private. If you want to enhance your security further, considering that browsers are linked to our email accounts, check out our video on critical Gmail security measures, such as advanced security settings or how to remove Google third-party access. You can check it out by clicking up here. For enhancing the security of your browser and your entire device, I recommend using a VPN or virtual private network along with one of the browsers that we just went through. A VPN works by encrypting your internet connection and routing it through a server in a location of your choice, masking your IP address and making it significantly more challenging for third parties to track your online activity. This encryption ensures that your data remains secure and private, offering an added layer of protection beyond what any browser alone can provide. You can check out our full list of recommended VPNs using the links down in the description box below. Also, let us know if you've discovered any new ways to enhance your online security through different tools or platforms. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want more great free content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe online, stay secure, and we'll see you in the next video.